What are your customers worth? This might seem like an obvious question, but by applying some nuance to the answer, you can get a really good understanding of the health of your organization today and in the future. Let's explore customer lifetime value or CLV and how you can leverage it to maximize the value of your customer base. So what is customer lifetime value? Customer lifetime value is the present value of the future cash flows attributed to the customer during their entire relationship with the company. Let's break that down a little bit because there's always confusion between customer lifetime value and recency frequency modeling. Customer lifetime value uses recency frequency modeling to project forward. But I oftentimes think about this as driving while looking out the rear view mirror, which is recency frequency modeling, and that is chunky, somewhat directional, and tends to bucket inaccurately, versus looking out the front of the car and projecting forward with more fine-grained, specifically tighter-fitting models that tend to bucket accurately. And that is essentially the difference between CLV and RFM. Now, if we look at the formula for CLV, there are a couple different components. The key concept here is there is no one right formula for CLV. It must be customized according to the kind of relationship that your customer has with your company. So let's look at the CLV formula. M stands for margin, which is a constant. Some companies subtract customer acquisition cost to get a true net. And if we want to use CLV to estimate something like the upper bounds of spending, then that definitely needs to be excluded. But generally we treat M as a constant because margin multiple only changes when retention varies. R stands for retention over time. Most companies might have 60 to 90% retention. If it was 20% retention, you would lose 100% of the customers that you acquired at year five as your cohorts roll forward. That's not a constant, but many companies make this an average. If you do that, it underestimates the customer value and misclassifies customers. Average is bad. R to the T assumes that revenue is booked at the beginning of the period. So T equals zero. You can adjust that of course to whenever your revenue is booked. D stands for discount rate. This is the time value of money. It would not be accurate to project customer lifetime value without discounting for cash because dollars received today are worth more than those received tomorrow. It's a good idea to align with your CFO for the proper discount rate for your company. And finally, the capital T stands for time horizon. For most companies at year 15, there's very little difference between that and infinity. So your maximum value to pull all of your customer lifetime value in might be five to 10 years, depending on the business, maximum of 15. It also depends on how you're using customer lifetime value. If you're using it for short-term decisions like marketing decisions, you may want to take a shorter term, a shorter view, a shorter sense of time, because not everyone will be spending immediately. If you are looking at it for valuation purposes, how much is my company worth, then you might take the maximum or longer perspective in order to rack up as much value from your customer base as possible. <music>